Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. I'll be sharing a recipe with you guys today for sweet potato roti or sweet potato flatbread. And this is one delicious roti or um, flatbread that you can eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you can even have it, have it as a snack. So now you guys would really love to see this because just two ingredients it sounds unreal, but come on down and let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna start peeling the sweet potato. And this one here, I already boiled until it's nice and soft. You can see. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the skin off. And you can use white sweet potato for this recipe as well. But I find orange color sweet potato gives the roti or the flat bread a beautiful color. So let me finish peeling this and I will show you the next step. So I'm gonna start mashing our potatoes. And for this recipe, we only need one cup of the potato and it's best to mash when it's hot and to knead it while it's hot as well, because that will help us to get a soft and nice uh, potato roti. So now we have our one cup of mashed warm sweet potato. This will give us the best results. Now we're gonna add our all-purpose flour. We're gonna mix it in a little here and the moisture from the potatoes will be enough to knead this dough. I'm just trying to mix it in a little before I go in with my fingers. So now let's do this my favorite way. Look how vibrant and beautiful the color is. You want to make sure that your potato is mashed nice and smooth so there is no lump left behind. So check out our dough. Very nice and soft. I didn't add any water to it. I'm just going to roll it out one more time and and that's it we don't want to overwork the dough so now I'm gonna start rolling them out to make our roti show you guys this beautiful sweet potato roti you can do this with whole wheat flour or gluten-free flour as well so we're gonna cut the dough into small pieces Just love the inside of the dough. And it looks like Play-Doh, right, Natalie? Yeah. And then we're gonna make small pieces. We wanna make these small. We don't wanna go too big and ginormous with them. So let's see how much we're gonna get out of this dough. And this is a really like super soft and moist dough. If you look in here, you can see. Look at that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll them off because they're like so soft. 
just like when you're making roti so I'm gonna try to flour my hand properly and just roll these off into nice round circle we're gonna dip them in some flour and we're gonna rest them here until I finish with all the other ones so now I just slightly dust my board out and I'm just gonna flat these out and we're gonna try to roll them out as thinly as we can How is the color here? It looks pretty. That's very vibrant, right? Yeah. As you guys know, I love to experiment and I love to try the new recipes out. So, sweet potato roti. I did my those um, sweet potato dumplings and purple yam dumplings. All those are beautiful, beautiful recipes. When you try things out and they, you become successful is one that you would love to share with others. So I couldn't hold this back from you guys because it is really, really delicious and very nice for any meal. So now I'm gonna start cooking the roti and I'm using my um, frying pan, this nonstick frying pan because my roti pan is very thin and I don't want the roti to cook too fast. I want it to cook on a nice low heat. This roti is made without baking powder, without yeast and without any oil. So it is very, very easy, simple, two ingredients. So now if you can notice a little bit, you can see that it start bubbling up. And then I'm gonna just flip this one. And then you have to keep turning it round and round so it can cook evenly. These can swell or poof up, but sometimes because they're like a roti and a flat bread, if it doesn't, then it's fine. You can, if you look here, Natalie, it start poofing up already. I see. So I'm gonna move it around and look here too, it's poofing up. And let it cook right through. Okay, so they're coming up nicely. I'm gonna show you when I finish and you guys will see the end of it, how beautiful our sweet potato roti or, or flatbread would look. And you can have this with any side dish of your choice so here it is friends my sweet potato roti or flat bread all done nicely it can go as a wrap you can eat it with any meal any curry stew any dish of your choice so tonight i'm going to show you how we are serving this up for dinner so this is how we're going to serve our sweet potato flat bread i made some guacamole, avocado, mashed with some lemon juice, a little bit of black pepper and salt. I'm gonna, I just made some, I just cut up some radish, cucumber, and coriander with a pinch of salt and some lemon juice. And I roast some chicken here. I have some chicken pieces. We're gonna use our sweet potato roti or flat bread as a wrap. And we're gonna serve this up with some delicious salad tonight. And I made my own dressing. So I'm gonna add some toasted pumpkin seed that I toast on the salad. And this is a beautiful Friday night dish. You can have it anytime. My kids will make their wrap and everybody would enjoy this meal. This is my own homemade salad dressing we're just gonna drench this with the dressing and this is dinner tonight all are invited this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna add some of the, some of the chicken pieces my roasted chicken pieces and 
I'm going to add some guacamole here. This is working as the fat or the mayo content. And then just some crunch in here so it's not like a boring kind of a wrap. And the kids love this at any time. And then you can bite it in however you want. It looks like a taco, right? Yeah. So now this with the salad for dinner, I'm gonna let you guys know how everything tastes. So here it is, my delicious Friday night dinner. I have a nice bowl of salad mixed with some apples, nuts, and some homemade dressing. I have my sweet potato wrap. It can go as a taco, it can go as a roti with some nice curry, however you like it. And my roasted chicken, some avocado, and some veggie. Look how beautiful that is, just like a taco. But before I dive in, I have two birthday shout outs. I would like to send belated birthday greetings to Mamu Richie from Guyana, an absolutely amazing person. Wishing you many, many more birthdays to come. And I would like to shout out belated birthday greetings to Uncle Robbie from New York, another amazing person. They both celebrated their birthdays on January the 29th. So happy belated birthday to you both. So now I'm gonna taste my, my um, sweet potato wrap, taco, roti, whatever we wanna call it. And my first bite goes to all my viewers and subscribers. Lots of different flavors going on here. The roti or the flatbread by itself is nice and soft and have a sweetness to it. You can also use this with some peanut butter or jam or fruits filling. And the combination of the roasted chicken with the crunchiness and the avocado, just a perfect delicious dinner tonight. I'm gonna go in for a little bit of the salad. So cheers guys, and this is your mouthful as well. This is my signature salad. Amazing. So delicious and so healthy. So if you guys like a sweet potato flatbread recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider doing so. These can also be made with the white sweet potato. So I love you guys. Happy weekend to each and every one of you. Bye for now.